in Cabaroya today and we're in one of my favourite places on the Orihuela Costa, Costa Blanca, Cabaroya Strip. Lots of bars and restaurants and we're going to be talking about all the pros and cons about living in Spain compared to the UK. And there's quite a lot of them, there's over 20 pros and cons. So let's go, we're going to do a little walking tour. Along so here. we're just going to walk along the Cabaroya Strip. If you've not been to Cabaroy, it's just up from Lasinha around about 10 miles outside Torrevieja on the Orihuela Costa. And this is Cabaroy, one o'clock in the afternoon on a nice warm 18 degrees for January. And that's one of the advantages or the pros of living in Spain, because this time of year, even though it's the Spanish winter, you're still getting temperatures of 18, 20 degrees. And last week, we had a bit of a, a fluky temperature of almost 30 degrees in some parts of the Orihuela Costa and Costa Blanca. So up and down this time of year, we're like in other countries like the UK, when it's winter, it's winter. But here, we seem to get warm temperatures all year round. So you can enjoy sitting outside at one of these lovely bars and a bit of al fresco dining. A good thing about Spain as well, if you need to see a doctor, the healthcare out here is next to none compared to most places in Europe. It's one of the best healthcare's going, mostly university hospitals. If you want to see a doctor, you can literally see a doctor the same day. And also prescriptions. Prescriptions are a lot cheaper if you're paying into the healthcare and you're on the government system. If you do need a prescription, antibiotics or any tablets you're paying literally a euro euro 20 you could get about five boxes of tablets all different types of medication for less than six seven euros it's all subsidized it all goes on your card they give you a health card and when you go to the doctors you just put the health card over all the information's on now and if you need a repeat prescription it'll already be on the card so you don't need to keep going backwards and forwards to the doctor every time where in the UK, you're lucky to see a doctor probably three or four weeks. But out in uh, Spain, the healthcare is, yeah, it, I've got to say, it's a lot, lot better. Spanish wages in Spain are a lot lower than uh, most places compared to the UK for sure. I mean, the average wage here is looking about 300 euros a week, but even though it's low wage, the cost of living is a lot, lot less. I mean, you can rent a place out here, an apartment, for a couple of hundred euros a month. Or if you wanted a big house, you're looking at 500 euros a month. So it's a lot cheaper, and eating out as well. Dining, if you want to eat out, and have like a bit of breakfast at one of these bars, you can get a coffee and a bit of a toast. Toaster with tomatoes on and olive oil for like two euros 80. So yeah, a lot more uh, cheaper. Going out for an evening meal, you've got your menus of the day. They can be anything from seven euros up to 15 euros and then get a free course meal with a drink. If it's not alcohol, you can have a coffee. And that's another thing as well. Alcohol's a lot cheaper here. So it's not expensive if you want to go out and have a drink, or celebrate your birthday or anything like that. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. I mean, you can get a short mixer. A lot of places in Spain now for around about three euros. Three euros to three euros 50 for a vodka and coke. Or a pint of lager. You're looking at two euros 50 and a glass of wine from a euro up to a couple of euros. Varies in certain bars and your sport choice, you've got so many uh, restaurants here to choose from. And another thing as well, the food is a lot more healthier in Spain than what it is in England. It's not grease, it's all health, healthy uh, eating, it's not big portions, it's lower portions. So you can eat a lot more healthy area. And so yeah, this is uh, part of Cabaroy. We're on the opposite side to the main strip. We've got quite a new uh, place is just open along here as well. It's a really nice part of Spain. 
like a lot of these places um on the Orwella Costa Costa Blanca a lot of lot of expats here so this little uh, place here has just come up here it's like a little street market complex on the opposite side of the strip it's quite uh quite nice it's adding to it all the time you got the pizza you got the chicken sheds have uh, quite a busy square at night so you want to come here for a morning coffee but you got a games room for the children so they keep on adding to it you got your gin and cocktails yeah quite a rusty little place at night time really busy so this is what you're missing in england a bit of a uh, relaxation mingling with people because out here people do tend to be more friendly in the mornings everyone says good morning bona dias or bona tardes good afternoon or even bona noches good night so yeah more and more friendly out here because it's more relaxed people it's a lot lot slower lifestyle it's a lot of relaxation hardly any work gets done you get like over 20 30 red days a year bank holiday days a year out here so there's no work being done unlike england you get like what was it eight or nine proper bank holidays a year out here it's holiday 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 manuana manuana no work getting done the driving is less stressful as well you ain't got to sit in traffic lights and stopping and starting the only negative thing is the speed humps and the crossings where they just step right out in front of the crossing as you're coming along expect you to do an emergency stop that's the spanish for you also when they're driving i don't think they really know what indicators are because they never use the indicators that's the spanish uh, culture i suppose it's just so laid back in their lifestyle one of the negatives really about spain is when you come to sell a property i mean if you're uh, a non-resident and you're selling your property and you made a bit of profit on your property you could be paying quite a lot in uh, tax because uh, tax out there is very high taxation it's a uh, 24 percent you could be paying out in tax when you sell your property if you've gained money and if you're a resident it's around 19 percent but the good thing is when you buy houses out here are a lot lot cheaper you get a lot for your money because like i say the cost of living is a lot cheaper you can pick up big houses for less than 100,000 euros, apartments for around 40,000 euros, depending on what part of Spain you want. But there is places out there you can get a lot for your money. It's definitely third price cheaper, even more than half the cheaper than what it is in the UK. We're just going to go across the footbridge now. We're going to take a walk over to the other side of the strip. So if you want to come to Spain, you can sell your UK house buy an house over here you could even buy a couple of houses and rent one out and still live comfortably because it's such cheap living the food everything is so much cheaper than what it is back in the uk long as you don't eat imported or drink imported goods local stay local buy all your produce from the markets or the fruit and veg markets and live the Spanish culture. Relax, have your siestas in the afternoon. But yeah, yeah, you seem to see so many now on these scooters. That is one of the negatives, I must say. When you're driving along and you've got these people on a scooter flying all different directions down the wrong side of the road, and the police are not really clamping down on it too much. They were supposed to be clamping down on helmets and children two on a scooter it looks like they only seem to be targeting the british but at least in the uk you don't get all that i suppose kids driving down a road on scooters you might get kids on the corner gangs and all that uh, you don't see to see many kids in gangs on street corners because in spain they look after their children they do all these sports activities for them unlike the uk kids are just loitering everywhere very rarely see them out here but they're uh, either brought up well or they just don't seem to be hanging about in the streets they're actually on these government play areas and things so yeah we're right over the other side of the strip now this is where the cabaroy 
lots of surgeries just here open 24 7 so if you do need to see a doctor you can see a doctor any time of the day even christmas day go straight in get your medication and go into the chemist that's just across the road there that's open every single day of the year as well not like england like i say having to wait four weeks yeah spain do look after their own people it's not one of them countries where they just concentrate in and working all the time it's more about more leisure and play than work here it's the saying manuana because nothing ever gets done they look after the families and children they have all these fiestas going on every other month there's fiestas all over the country I think sometimes you get two or three even five or six in some places a month so fiestas seem to be going on all the time on all different towns they give out sweets drinks food presents to children as well at christmas time so they do look after the children out here and the schools they reckon the schools in spain are a lot better back in the uk as well the education and they seem to be uh, brought up a lot better by the schools i've heard so many reports that the schools are really really good out here compared to a lot of parts of the country as well not just the uk so if you are english and you come to spain and you've got a family you can get taught a bit of spanish in the school they do teach all the children the spanish so we're just up by the uh, sabadell bank that's another thing as well spain do charge you for your banks out here you pay quarterly around about 30 to 40 euros a quarter just for having a bank account and then you pay for your bank cards okay that's one of the bad things one of the good things is in england you don't have to pay for that another thing as well about spain doctors do tell their uh, patients that if they do suffer from arthritis or back pains to move to a warmer country and spain would be ideal because down in torre vieja you've got the salina salt lakes which is a very good area to live in as well with all the minerals being out from the lakes and the air the warmer climate i used to suffer from a very bad back back in england every morning my back used to kill me but it certainly made a difference for me since i've moved here it's a warmer climate it's definitely true it does make you feel a lot more healthier and less aches and pains so yeah that's the good thing about it, Spain compared to England. And also, we've got one of these menus here. There we go, menu of the day I was telling you about, all these special deals. This comes with a pot of dom with your pickles and everything. You can get a lamb or chicken dish, a naan bread, a soft drink or a beer, and a dessert or a coffee for 11 95 So these are the sort of deals you get along the strip in Cabaroy, but these are all over Spain, all doing special deals. You've got a buffet deal here for $13.95 and a child for $9.95. That's the Chinese. But yeah, in Torre Bieca, being more Spanish -y, you're getting menus of the day for about eight or nine euros. So yeah, you can't get that in England, that's for sure. And you can never get bored here either. That's another good thing. In England, you can get bored because of the weather. Yeah, because it's always really nice weather all year round. There's just so much to do this like i say before there's fiestas to go to you've got parks you've got all these wonderful mountains and caves you can go and visit you've got the zoos which i know you've got zoos in in england but you've got such a good variety of things to do all these beautiful towns these churches and the history and the monuments and there's coach companies all over spain and you've got one here as well dave's coaches they take you on all these trips they can take you to benedorm they can take you to malaga take you to gibraltar which i've done videos on all these places by the way and if you're liking this video give us a like and uh, subscribe you'll be following me any other videos we do you'll be notified and it doesn't cost a penny and let us know what you think of the video in the comments because there's so much things to do in spain just time just flies hence why they always say man you're on it because the time goes so quick they never get around to doing it the time that you get up and then you stroll about your business and the sun is shining before you know it the day's gone 
just it just goes a lot lot quicker it must be this lovely weather and a good vibe just time just flies here you cannot get bored but the worst thing about Spain anything you do out here bank accounts applying for anything anything you do office work or town or paperwork they do love paperwork so much of it you can end up about 200 pages just open a bank account and it's so complicated as well a lot of things you want to do take so much longer you wouldn't get back home or back home it's a lot quicker less paperwork and it's done and dusted out uh, here yeah, they seem to go all around the houses and it's just tons and tons of paperwork surprise why they don't get anything done truthful but if you do come out here and buy a car though and you do travel to these beautiful places in spain the good thing about out uh, yeah, here when you buy a car you get your car insurance not only you need the mot every two years or itv and it's cheap as chips but your car comes with breakdown cover where in england you'd have to pay out extra it doesn't cost no extra on the premium it's all included in the price i mean i'm paying 300 euros fully comp on a newish car and that comes with breakdown so that's not bad at all in england you would have to pay out the extra for breakdown cover so you ain't got to worry about the stress of not having breakdown if you're out and about so that's one good thing spain's got right for sure one of the bad things about spain is the supermarkets if you ever need anything on a sunday you've got to go oh my god are they open because nearly every other sunday they're closed certain times of the year they give the little shops the back street shops and the, not the big companies a chance to make some pennies so the big supermarkets have to close they'll be their red days so yes most most sundays you you want to get something from a supermarket where you've forgotten when you're shopping and they're closed that is the most annoying thing where in england you wouldn't have that problem at all and also if you did want to vote in spain in the spanish elections that's probably not a good thing because if you're not a citizen you won't let you vote you have to be a, a spanish citizen to vote in the elections oh we're coming up to another couple of bars here we've got all deals going on here coffee and a scone for three euros fifty these are mainly english bars they're not as cheap as you would from a spanish place because this strip is mainly english people very tourist this cabaret strip I mean, we've got a set meal there for 12.50. Comes with a soup, chicken for your main, and a dessert. And we got we got an Indian dish there as well, three course. But yeah, Tori Bieca or all these back Spanish towns, you'll, you'll get a better it menu, a lot day. cheaper. And I appreciate your service. If you did need the police in Spain, that's another good thing. You ring them up they'll be there in five or ten minutes because they've got so much police national police local police you've even got the army if they need it so you you never have to worry about waiting for the police or telling them they can't turn up but yeah out in spain you don't have to worry about any of that where in england they just say oh we'll give you a crime reference number and they don't bother turning up well yeah they will turn up and they've got so much and they're not interested in petty little things traffic road speeding fines and all that they've got their cameras of course but they don't set up traps like the uk out for the motorists all the time the only time you might see them is on a roundabout with big stingers big metal spikes if they know a, a terrorist or someone they're after is coming through you'll have them all with their guns at the roundabout all waiting so they're, they're really interested in big criminals they're not interested in petty little things and all the prostitutes that are out on the roundabout they were turning a blind, blind eye to them really because they didn't got time to take them in and then release them and then they're going to go and back and do the same thing one thing i do like about spain as you can see just over there on that corner there is all, all dustbins all piled up there i'll take you over so in the uk you, you've got to wait two weeks and if you miss the back bags and it's pink bag week and forget to put them out you end up having 20 a sacks yeah you've got these on nearly every corner you've got your glass recycle you've got your bin one for your grass and then you've got your normal rubbish ones all along here yeah, right at the end you've got your your cardboard as well 
and if you've got any big items like fridges or freezer if you just stick them by the bin the council will come and pick them up so you just walk to your top of your road literally it's a two minute walk and you come and put your rubbish straight in a bin you ain't got to keep it at your house i mean with temperatures out here you won't want to do that anyway and you find most of the time the moroccans will pull up at the bin if you've left a nice little table or fridge freezer they'll take you away so yeah it's a lot lot better a lot cleaner you ain't got to worry about dustmans coming every fortnight it's done isn't it done and dusted they will come along and they'll take you away every day they empty the bins top of your road or down your so that is one good thing about spain you ain't got that smell of that rubbish the worst thing about spain i must say as you can see someone in front here walking the dog it reminds me of the dogs in spain be careful when you buy property because the spanish just tend to let their dog bark 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 all day all night the barking dogs and you can imagine these areas you can hear a pin drop so quiet and if you're living next door to one of these barking dogs it will drive you absolutely crazy trust me apart from that living on an urbanization in spain you might have to pay a little bit extra if you are privileged enough to live on a urbanization like i said before they start around 200 euros could be up to 12 1600 euros depending how many swimming pools he's got but small urbanizations around about a couple of hundred euros and your roads are all clean road sweet. yeah you'll have your lights on at night so you ain't got to walk around in the dark and everything's maintained properly your drains are repaired any any bad roads get sorted because the roads in generally in spain are pretty good you get your odd bumpy road like you do in england but out here most of the roads are pretty good what i do like when you're buying an house in spain you can literally be in within less than a month if it's a cash buyer i'm just looking at some properties here i mean you get new builds here 249,000 with a swimming pool beautiful new whatever build you house. want new build old build but yeah houses could be in less than a month there are no surveys have done it's all done pretty quick really unless it's done by a mortgage and they have to do a, a check and things but yeah not like england it could take six months a year sometimes people pulling out the chain but any in spain they've got a different way of doing it if someone wants to buy a house you have to put a deposit down and if you pull out you lose your deposit so that stops all these people breaking the chain most of the time. People don't want to lose their deposit. You put a percentage down, that secures the house basically, and it, it becomes yours. If the person decides to pull out, well, they're going to lose their money. So yeah, that's the that's good thing. And maybe they should uh, do that in England. That'll stop all that people breaking the chains over there. The only thing I don't like about Spain is the houses are absolutely freezing they're not insulated basically they're a concrete shell and uh don't matter what time of year it is it's like living in a fridge and because spain does get hot summers from around about end of april all the way around to october you're looking at really hot temperatures so it's nice that time of month to get inside and cool down but if you're living on the wrong side of the road as i said before in other videos the house is absolutely freezing so if you're not south facing it's going to be cold absolutely cold so you could have your eating on and the people across on the south will have all their doors and windows open so yeah you need to make that decision if you're coming out and you buying a house and it's just going to be for an holiday home you're coming in summer summertime in the summer months then okay you probably want to be on the cold side but if you're living here all year round, I recommend you make sure you buy on the south side. Prices are no different, south to north. It all depends on what people want. So yeah, a lot of pros and cons of living in Spain compared to other places. People are very, very friendly, like I said. You can go into any bar on your own and you get chatting to it's people. Idea, all types of nationalities. And it's all these golf societies and a lot of bars, uh, bars that play pool competition against each other as well. You can never ever get bored, like I said before, there's just too much to do. You've got markets on every day of the week. You can visit any market, 
go for lovely walks along the coast, visit towns. So yeah, if you like the video, don't forget, give us a like and subscribe. And uh, I'll put a lovely video up there for you to have a look at.